Hi, welcome to my channel. I am called a lot of things, but mostly mom. And today on What Would Mom Say, we're going to do check-in for week number 12. Let's get into it. What a week. You may or may not have noticed that I have posted quite a few less videos this week. I felt like I had too many projects that I was juggling. We're redoing the bedroom and that has taken up a lot of my time. We went camping all weekend and it <laughs> I needed some recovery time considering we were camping in like record temperatures, <laughs> global record temperatures. And as relaxing as camping normally is, camping in world record temperatures with children and the only water supply is a, a pretty quick and dangerous river we had to be turned on at all times making sure that they were hydrated and having fun in the water and <laughs> bringing shade down to the river which meant hauling this canopy and it was a lot of fun needed to recover from that and uh needed needed some time needed some time making money in the market it was another amazing week i was looking back yesterday on how different my income has changed since i changed my trading strategy a couple i want to say a couple months ago because time just goes like that for me i decided that i was going to offload any inventory i had meaning shares and companies and i was going to start using a strategy that never required buying or selling shares in a company at all. Um, and of course, I'm, I do option trading. And since then, my income, I was looking yesterday for the last seven weeks has been way bigger than what it used to be. So that is super exciting. I didn't realize that it had been seven weeks of that kind of uh, return, but because uh, just it's just little bits at a time, right? You never really notice little bits, little bits, little bits, but little bits add up. You can nickel and dime yourself to wealth as easy as you can nickel and dime yourself to poverty. I believe that I said that on one of my money series videos, so check that out if you want or don't. I don't care. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the kids started soccer this week. That was awesome. I got to reconnect with a mom who used to sit in the stands and watch her nephew played basketball at the same times that I used to sit in the stands and watch my older son play basketball. And uh, I saw her at soccer. She had her little kids at soccer, her, and I had my little kids at soccer. And so it was really neat to sit on the side of the soccer pitch and chat it up. I probably should have been watching more than chatting, but when you're locked down in COVID for a year and a half and you move from a full-time job where all you do is talk to strangers and you're in it to not talking to anybody but yourself at your computer and your children and your husband and what he wants for supper you know I'm um, I'm coming close to finishing the bedroom and I'm trying to put together some of those videos I did do I think two of them already where you saw us take down everything in the in the pink bedroom and then you saw me paint it white well I have some more videos in the tank that I haven't processed yet to show you how that project is coming along and so it's really exciting. Another exciting thing, oh my gosh, that I started this week that I'm getting ready for you guys. Now this one is going to take me a year but I've started doing these um, seven minute workouts. I do two of them but I'm recording myself while well, I do one of them and I'm going to do it every day for the next year and I'm going to show you guys the progression and maybe I'm going to look exactly the same after the next year, but maybe I'm not. And I'm going to post the video in one year from now, regardless. So stand by for that. Anyways, life is good. I love you. Be brilliant. Get after it. If you're not sure what direction you're headed in, go do some priming. Seriously, go do some priming. If you feel unclear, where your river's winding, start at the priming base. Anyways, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> it's been a great week.